Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, and welcome to Command Power, the show in which we discuss all things Magic the Gathering with a focus on Commander. And today we have another episode in our Spoiler Spotlight series in which I talk about, well, spoilers and tell you what my thoughts are on them. But before that, just a quick reminder to click subscribe if you enjoy my videos. We're well on our way to a million subscribers and your support means everything to me. And today we're going to be talking about Bernard, Ginger Sculptor. For one colorless, one green, one white and one blue, it's a legendary creature, human artificer, 3-3 three, three, with each creature you control that's a food or a golem gets plus 2 plus 2 and has trample. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies you may exile it. If you do create a token that's a copy of that creature except it's a 1-1 one, one food golem artifact creature in addition to its other types and it has two colors, tap, sacrifice this artifact, you gain three life. So wow there's a lot to unpack here. I really like the art and the effect on this commander. I love that he's just a mad scientist kind of guy making gingerbread men that then are going to come to life. And the card's abilities perfectly reflect that flavor. So I like that there's a lot of different ways you can go with this. Basically, you can build it as a golem tribal deck. That's already a really interesting thing to be doing, I think, because there's quite a lot of golem support these days, and I've always wanted to make a golem deck with Itch to Kek, and this seems like it would be a good commander to house that kind of strategy, seeing as all your golems are going to get a big buff and trample. But probably you're going to be building around the other side of the card. That's the most interesting part, and it's basically going to turn any non-token creature you control into a copy of itself that is a food. So it's going to be very powerful with enter the battlefield effects. Something like Muldrifter, for example, will get very good when you get an extra copy of it. But because it also has a sacrifice ability on it, it can be very good with creatures that have death triggers as well. It is particularly powerful with creatures that have both an ETB and a death trigger because then you're going to be abusing both of those when you create the token and then when you sacrifice it. And you're going to be getting an absolute mountain of value. That kind of effect doesn't really feel so super banned to me. It feels like it should have black in its color identity because we usually don't get banned doing stuff like exiling creatures from the graveyard when they die to make copies of them. But the value aspect is certainly very banned and it's just so cool that you're making gingerbread token copies of creatures. I can just imagine like a gingerbread cloud blazer just flying through the sky as a 1-1. One -one. It's pretty cool. It even gives you a way to self-sacrifice the cards to gain some life which is very nice. So you could have a minor life gain theme in the deck which could be interesting to build around Around, or you could even have a minor artifact theme in the deck because you are making artifact tokens after all. The sky is really the limit with this guy and since all the foods, all the golems that you're making get plus two plus two and have trample, you're not actually getting one ones, you're getting three threes. That's something to remember because it's actually much better than a lot of similar effects that make copies as one ones. Three three tramplers are nothing to scoff at and they can end the game very quickly if your opponent doesn't deal with Bernard. I just think it's a really cool effect. It's a flavor home run, no pun intended. It's also got fantastic art and the ability is really cool to build around and has multiple avenues to do so so what's not to love so there you have it those have been my thoughts on this new spoiler what do you think about this card please let me know in the comment section below i read all comments and respond to all of them too and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to click like or subscribe it really helps the channel and until next time take care Woo!